Can't imagine many flurfs would want to challenge Bob from Gently's channel. Oh, you would be surprised. They like to do it all the time. I've got one right now, Pea Brain, that is just driving me absolutely insane. Hey everybody, Pea Brain here. Um, I'm doing a video here. Actually, I'm doing a series of videos because I went and looked at uh, Bob the Science Guy's channel and I saw this video, Flat Uthals All Children. It's a 10 minute video and I did basically did a reaction video to it. And my reaction is over an hour long. So if you like to sit back and, and uh, be able to watch a long video of mine, go to Patreon and it's over there. And uh, I'll be putting it out on YouTube in probably a couple weeks. But so I've already done part one and here's a thumbnail. I'll put a link in the description. And so this is part two. I'm going to go over again a little bit, Bob talking about the satellites, and then I'm going to show Bill Nye and how he doesn't know anything about satellites either. Okay. And I said that Bob really didn't know what he was talking about when he was talking about the geostationary satellites. And they really don't. I mean, it's not an accident that he didn't understand that you track what is moving, the stars, and you don't track what is not moving, that would be a geostationary object, like a light pole. You don't track a light pole, Bob. Consider these five geostationary satellites located over the Amazon base. <laughs> this is good. He's going to keep referring to tracking them when there's no tracking involved. You'll see them as small dots. I'm specifically tracking these using a piece of software called SkyTrack. He's tracking stationary objects. Oh, P boy, he just misspoke. Let me back that up. You'll see them as small dots. I'm specifically tracking these using a piece of software called SkyTrack. Okay, you don't need to track stationary objects, Bob. The stars you would have to put to track because the stars are moving. Well, he's going to do it again. Now, you have to ask yourself a couple of quick questions. Now, with the tracking on, you see the satellites as discrete little dots. There's three right there. So to see these satellites as dots doesn't require any tracking software, no mechanical tripod. You just put your camera on your tripod, point at satellites, do a long exposure, come back in a few hours, and what you'll see is any object that's stationary, it'll be clear and in focus. Anything that's moving, like the stars, will be blurred. You'll see star trails. And of course, this is assuming that we could actually see something the size of a car at 22,300 miles away, over seven times the distance of Miami to Los Angeles. And a shout out to my awesome commenters in the first video that I put out a few days ago that pointed this out, right? I mean, you can't even hardly see an airplane in the sky that's uh, 16 miles up, like any kind of spy plane or whatever. You can't see those. And that's only, you know... 10, 16, whatever miles up, but 22,300 miles? No, but I'll, I'll, I'm still playing along here. It's like training your um, camera on a light pole. The light pole is not going to move, so you don't have to have tracking software to track the light pole, Bob, just like you don't have to track those satellites. Now, you may need a locator, but that's different than a tracker, and you keep talking about putting the tracking on for the satellites, but turning it off for the stars. And that's what you need to be tracking the stars. <laughs> Numb nut. And there's one there and one there. When I turn the tracking software off. No, now you're turning it on. <laughs> you'll see the stars now are in focus, but the satellites are straight. <laughs> Again, still in exactly the same formation as those first dots. A couple of questions that you have to ask yourself. Why are they still in such a tight formation? If I were to put up five random balloons, do you think they would continue to fly along at exactly the same speed? No, they wouldn't be flying along, Bob. If you're talking balloons, you're talking flat Earth, and they're not flying anywhere, Bob. <laughs> you can't get this through your skull. I mean, he really doesn't know what he's talking about right there. I mean, he's talking about balloons. Now, if we're talking balloons, that would be the flat Earth equivalent of a uh, an orbiting satellite, right, that a rocket puts up. So balloons if they're geostationary, would be actually stationary. Yet, he still says they're flying along. I, again, uh, mixing apples and oranges, right? The flat earth with the ball earth. So, Bob, you sound confused. So, to show you that they really don't know what they're talking about, because this is all fictitious, and they, they screw up. If you're paying attention, they screw up, and that's what I do. I just pay attention to these little details. Here's a 
a launch of a geostationary satellite. This is an animation made by Bill Nye um, and his Planetary Society with this guy, Jason Davis, who's in charge of the space stuff portion of his uh, website or whatever. Now, you would think they know what they're talking about. However, this guy shows this uh, animation right here, and they this is how they say they launch uh, satellites, uh, preferably. They want to launch on the equator or as close to the equator so they can get the 1,000-mile-per-hour boost of the rotating Earth. So that's a pretty important detail that you would want to portray in your animation. Yet, here this guy makes a an animation, and he leaves off the 1,000-mile-per-hour boost. And here's what I mean. As the, you can see, of course, he's got to get the spinning ball in. You always got to have the spinning ball in, but here he shoots himself in the foot. He makes the ball Earth spin, and yet doesn't have the path of the rocket spin with it. See, the path has to stay with the Earth, not with the background stars while the Earth spins out from under it. Otherwise, you have a rocket going backwards at 1,000 miles per hour. You're not getting any boost at all. Right? You're missing the ride on the Earth. That's what he's showing there. Oh, P-Point, that's a, such a small point. It's not a small point. They're supposed to know what they're doing. And me, I made a proper rendition of it. Okay, so so that you can see it clear, here's one of my... Uh, I, I made a copy of this. I did a, a imitation of this, right? I did a, my own version of this Bill Nye um, animation. So you can see it clearly, and I have a launch pad and everything. Now, notice the launch pad ripping out from under the path. Now, instead of the path of the rocket, thinking of it as the path, think of it as the smoke left behind, right? It's a visual path that you can see. Notice that the launch pad, and let's say there's people standing on this launch pad, they're ripping out from under the, the rocket uh, smoke at a thousand miles per hour. So for them, they would see the rocket smoke going backwards a thousand miles per hour going to the west. Well, I mean, come on, you can't get this right? So, here's what it should look like. This is a 1,000 mile per hour boost. What we were just watching here, this is losing a 1,000 mile per hour. This is gaining the 1,000 mile per hour boost that they say they're doing, and yet they cannot uh, seem to uh, represent that or show that in an animation that they made. I mean, it's beyond... If, if, you know, just pointing this stuff out, you can see, you start to get after a while, they really don't have a clue. It's like that guy from NASA saying that uh, these little seals um, uh, are what's keeping the uh, vacuum of space out. These little rubber gaskets on these windows or something, you know. <laughs> Once you pay attention, you know that it's all nonsense. So, there you go. There's a proper rotation. That's a, That's the... Uh, rocket path staying with the Earth, because that's what we observe. A rocket takes off, you see the lingering smoke, let's say there's no wind, and the lingering smoke hangs around as the rocket takes off and the smoke stays with you. It doesn't shoot off behind you to the west at a thousand miles per hour. So, I just wanted to show you again, you know, they, they have no clue what they're talking about.